everyone, we're here at the Standard Hotel. I just got done watching the world premiere of Bob the Drag Queen's Suspiciously Large Woman, and it was hilarious. Um, and we also have the director, Cheyenne, over here. And I just wanted to take a moment to ask some questions about the show. So tell me, how was it being in charge of filming somebody as funny as Bob? Oh my goodness, it is always a blast working with Bob, the most creative, <laughs> even if the most chaotic, least chaotic good. <laughs> so, yeah, and um, and very, it was it was very good putting the special together um, in his hometown with his family there, and it was just it was it was like minute to minute, it was laughing behind the stage, like in front of like front of the audience, everywhere, all the time, humor, comedy. It was fantastic. <laughs> and uh, speaking of being filming it in your hometown, what did that mean to you to go back to your roots? Well, you know, I I always see people do like. You know, honestly, the reason I did is I saw years ago Kevin Hart did a stand-up comedy special in Philly, which I think is where he's from, and he it just it seems so cool. And he goes, like, "I'm back in Philly." They were just going, they were going so crazy, and I was like, "I want to, I want to film one in my hometown," and you know, my my college friends were there. It was really amazing to do. That. It felt really great. Not only were your college friends there in the in the film when you guys watch it at home, you're gonna see that your dad showed up yeah, to mom, the thing. My, Tell us a little bit more about that. My mom, my dad, my brother, my uncle Steve, my aunt, family friends. It was a lot. My father had never seen me perform before ever. It was his first time he seen me perform, and uh, he didn't get to see me do an honest, cute Christmas play. He saw me tell dick jokes. <laughs> Well, that's that's special. I could imagine to have that support coming um, in this in the episode in the show tonight, that we saw tonight earlier. I also recognized that you were telling jokes about things that, like all the types of things, white people, you had dick jokes in there. Tell me about where you get your comedy material from. Well, I mean, it's literally from the world around me. I mean, I talk about dicks. I love them, and I see them a lot. I talk about politics. I see it a lot, and I love politics. I talk about white people because they're everywhere. I talk about. Um, <laughs> I talk about my experiences in the world in general, and I just kind of give a funny take on it, you know? And then uh, working with white people. Yes. <laughs> um, how did you find the, the experience of working in an environment where there was other people around and like having to be the white person in the room like, why is he telling white people jokes oh, and uh, doing all that stuff? I'm the one who's running around getting all the audience shots. Oh, and yeah. the audience was a character in this show. They were part of it in ways that I've never seen in comedy specials. Usually like you just have a couple shots of people laughing. They had rapport. Like you had rapport with the audience like, and they were very much a part of it. They were a part of the comedy and their reactions sometimes were the joke. It was yeah. great. I re a lot of the stuff in your in your special like relates to people that were living there, so I think that they resonated well with that as, as well. Um, yeah, if, you're, if you're from Atlanta, you'll really get a kick out of a lot of my Atlanta-based material. And tell us what you're working on next. What's next for Bob? Bob the Drag Queen. I'm working on I'm working on so many things. Uh, I'm working on a lot of stuff right now. Uh, working on my still working on my documentary Queen for People, okay. which I'm very excited about, and also releasing the album, which we're which will have some um, some. Some some footage and some jokes that make it into the special. We'll go, we're going to call it "Suspiciously Extra Large Woman." It'll be it'll be the album version, which will be available. Um, and I'm working on like I always have my hand in a honey pot somewhere. You know. Tell me how you got that name. What does that name mean? I mean, I know I understand, but for the people that are watching, which name? The suspiciously large woman. What does that oh, mean? Honestly, uh, it's just uh, the term SLW, which which. I like the idea of making an acronym that doesn't mean anything and then saying what it means. Um, so it's a term we say at my old restaurant, SLW, especially whenever, like, because a lot of us are drag queens. They're like, girl, that's an SLW, honey. <laughs> like, just a suspiciously large I need one. to see some ID, please. <laughs> awesome. Um, I don't think I have any more questions for you right now, but I'm so thankful that you let us be a part of that. It was so funny. I can't wait for everyone to download Reverie, watch it. It's streaming on Friday. You can also watch it on Logo uh, as on Sunday, I believe. But thank you so much for giving some of your time. I appreciate everything. Thank you. My pleasure.